All right, man. Well, let's let's explain it. You know, how do you get good at Siege? Well, everyone's going to tell you that you just need to play the game a lot. And if you play the game a lot, then obviously you just get better naturally. That's how you get anything, right? But what should be what should we be, be focusing on? Because there's a lot of people who've been playing this game for a long time, but see no progression. So we're gonna fix that. So first, subscribe to the channel. Second, uh, it's really just about. I think it's just really like Siege is not a repetitive game, but. You have to build habits because this is a game where anything can happen and you want the outcome to be mostly in your favor when you play this game. That's why you see me run certain operators, push certain parts of the map. I always put my drone in the same spot, you know. Yo, free thank you for the five gifts. Can we get some hype in the chat? Thank you so much, bro. Wait a minute. Wait. Zoinks gifted 12 subs and I missed that? Wait, Zoinks, are you still here, bro? Wait, did I thank that? Wait, this guy dang, this guy gifted 12 subs and I might have missed it. Yo, appreciate that, man. Thank you so much, bro. Can we also get some hype in the chat for that? Thank you, bro. I'm so sorry I missed that. I felt like I feel like Pokemon right now. Oh my god, only $100? What are you poor? Dude, where did she come from? Oh. Oh, of course she was hiding on top of that. No ah, whatever. Down to one friendly. Wait, only one million dollars? Is that all you could afford? You might as well not even donate if you didn't have any more than that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. Well, this is going to be an interesting uh, game. But, all right, well, basic things first, you know, obviously to get good at Siege, you need to, you need to um, learn the maps, of course. Then you break down the maps to certain areas that you want to push. And then you make that your quote unquote default. A default take is normally uh, a certain like repetitive strategy that people do. It's like performing the same thing every game. Not the same thing, but a general pathway that helps you eliminate a lot of random wall bangs, randomness in this game. All right, let's go ahead and get this wall open here though. I'll get that wall open. Chat, what's your best tip for people watching on YouTube right now? Like if they want to get better at Siege, like what, what do you think they should do? After you get the maps down, obviously the vessel of your, your gameplay, you know, what operators are you playing? Um, don't just pick random operators for the gun. You should only do that when you get better at the game. But you should experiment with a lot of different operators because operators aren't limited to only by themselves. Operators can be used in a certain role. For example, if you want to play aggressive and fast, you can play that with like half the operators in this game. So that's why you want to develop your playstyle now. How do you develop your playstyle? By trying different strategies and different operators and mixing what works for you. Okay. Bro, the one time I go to this breach, no one pushes the side door. Nice. I'm actually gonna go push this room window over here. No longer in your possession. The diffuser is now secured. Put a hop here. I'm gonna join you up. One's in the hall. Yo, he's prone. Hard right, hard right. Oh, he's dead. Nice. 
think one might be flanking us. There's Legion Mon on thing. No one's in the missile room. What's the missile room? Oh, well, this is a good example. Yeah, you want to be droning before you go in, guys. So drones are super key. Drones are good because information is good in this game. Oh, crap, my team is better. Oh, my God. He's one, he's one HP in the room. Nice. A little bit of bad aim. It's all good. Cross replacement. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. When you're walking around the map, you want to be aiming head level all of the time. So you might be noticing like a new player when they come in here. Uh, the time to kill in this game. There's something very unique about this game that people have been arguing about is one shot headshot. Siege is one of the only games in the whole market where one shot headshot is like so. It's so like uh, good. And then there's even people who want to take it away. But, you know, the satisfying one taps and easy ways to kill people that's why you always want to be aiming for the head if someone is if you're going up against someone and they're aiming at your head and you're aiming at their body they're going to win any time of the year no matter how no how no matter how strong your weapon is because it's instant kill so you always want to be generally aiming in that area because a lot of the times accidental headshots do happen in this game oh right, look at that we have the mr president here that wanted a two-shot headshot chat Real quick, do you guys think one shot headshot should exist in Siege? Yes or no? But why are you guys marinating that a little bit? The basement again. Okay, cool. But getting better at Siege is honestly a process of dying. You have to die a lot in this game to learn. Because it's like it's like if you were to like do anything, you know? You have to lose a lot and that will kind of mold you into a certain player and certain habits you'd be like oh i probably shouldn't do that again i gotta be careful of that next time dude my team is just the best bro electrical's clear barrels is clear. also another thing guys shoot default cams One's in warehouse. ace can you open this up Default cams are super important, guys. Warehouse. I need to leave. The doc is just gonna heal himself. Dude. Nice. Really good teamwork here. I'm gonna lock in for a second. Watch this. Easy wall bang. Oh. Alright. I can probably push the room to our left. Yeah, I can drone. Yeah, Jaeger's on... Uh, he's in the room next to you. On this ping. Nice. Yeah, Ye Jaeger was close. Hold on. Uh, he's, in the, he's in the room now. He's here. Oh my god. Nice. Is this guy cheating? No, he's just, he's just him, bro. Bro, they're out fragging like good players. Just good droning on my part. But yeah, another emphasis on droning, guys. Don't over drone, but don't under drone. A good balance is just knowing what's going on at least two rooms ahead of you. And yeah, that's, just, that's basically it. Good droning is just always knowing at least like two rooms ahead of you and you have a good flank camp. Uh, also, speaking of flanks, this doesn't just apply to like basic flanking, but you're always going to have a flank in your in, in this game. Basically, you're six, you're back. So always know when you enter a building, you're, you, you always have the potential to be flanked. But that normally is like the common rotations of this map. So if you can kind of understand how flanks work, aka learn where all the staircases are, uh, it will help you a lot. Well, with your awareness as a player. Your awareness as a player will, will skyrocket. Keep us 
So chat, what's another thing that you guys recommend to get good at Siege? For the people on YouTube watching this right now. Ten seconds remaining. Another thing is solo queue versus five stack. So we should talk about that a little bit. It's okay to solo queue to learn the game. But if you really want to like learn Siege at a high level, or even just learn faster, no matter where you are, five stack blocks. Five stack. Maybe even just duo queue. Have communication, but don't solo queue because this game is very team oriented. Which leads to another thing. Your KD doesn't mean jack shit. That is if it's above a 1.0, because that means you have an even amount. And you're, you're killing more than you're dying, which is good. But don't be like, oh, my KD dropped from a 1.2 to a 1.1 some shit or, you know, if you have like a 0 0.9, 0 0.87, that generally means, you know, you might not be as confident. You need to just push a little bit more. There's two coming my side. Also, don't zim. Don't zim in this game. Zimming is for losers. For nerds. Play the game legit. Get good legit. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to destroy that. Oh yeah, if you guys want to know a cross replacement, this is if you want to know a head level in this game, look at this. Barricade up. It's the second buckle. Look. Not gonna change. Not gonna change. Yep. Head level. Just just so you know. Help, please. I'm here. Yeah, he just got a hold for me, I'm getting flashed over and Smoke me. Let me help him out. Dude, my team is cracked, bro. I haven't done anything in this game. Yeah, my team's cracked, bro. This actually feels like champion ranks. I think it's because we're using high elo right now. There's two there. It's Ace and Sludge. Ace is still there. I wanted to walk up on the stairs. Oh my god. Wait, bro, this is an amazing siege right here, man. Probably doesn't mean I'm just getting carried, but. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, communication. Let's talk a little about communication, guys. Call outs, uh, helping your teammates. It's huge. It's huge because. You don't want to give the wrong information to your teammate. That seems common sense, but like people will say right here on ping. Also, stop saying on ping. Everything in this game has a name. Stop that. On ping is like only if you have like a Z ping and it's like it's, it's, it's situational. Yeah, Whammy, can you play with me? Like the bombs. Bro, I'm just here for the ride right now, man. I'm just commentating while my, my teammates are doing everything. Yeah, okay, playing scared. So, listen, my biggest tip for anybody in low elo or in anything in Siege, stop playing only the bomb site. Stop playing like this. The whole round. You need to be switching up angles and moving a lot just because everything in this game changes a lot. So, for example, maybe like spend 20 them? seconds here. You can play 20 over seconds here, in like here. In this, like, garage area. Oh, yeah, I'll help you out over there. On ping is situational. Like it's a Z ping. But yeah, guys, like you guys need to stop limiting your gunfights to doorways. You wonder why it's like it's so hard to take a gunfight like this? It's because it's it's a 50 50 gunfight. You're both taking the same gunfight and you're allowing them to swing on you. Just hold down like the stairs over here. And if you don't know what swinging means, swinging just basically means pushing, playing aggressive. Another thing in Siege is you want to hold more than just the bomb site. You want to be roaming a lot. They're taking the second floor. I can hear it because the footsteps are super loud. So 
So I'm aiming head level here. When he peeks down, I'm just going to tap and dip. I'm literally it's sitting by, dude. I don't even see it. I see his arm. Oh shit, he fucking snuck in, bro. That's so unlucky. We both have the same angle. Wow. Well, uh, that brings up to my next point. Peeker's advantage does exist in this game. So if you don't know what Peeker's advantage is, it's something that you want. You can. I don't like you. Can yeah. No, uh, they're both looking at him. Mind you. There's three on. There's three on warehouse door. So you have to understand that Peeker's advantage does exist in this game. It, it's basically just they're making the first move. They're initiating the first move. So you want to be careful standing still in this game. Rising IQ. Just think about it like it's a latency thing, basically, on, on servers. A switch. Let's think about it like that. Nice. Switch, yeah. Bro, my teammates are cracked, bro. Oh my oh, god. Who is this guy? Operator standing. Oh, I got the greeting. Just hold. Bro, I actually no. Oh, they're actually. Nice oh, shit, bro. Oh shit, you guys. You guys are the best. Yeah, you guys are fucking nuts, bro. I got carried that game. Oh, happy New Year, guys. Though. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year, Gs. Well. Well, this video is kind of uh, ironic because I didn't get any kills this game and I'm talking about how to get better at Siege. Well, this is one of the only games. Like, we still, a dub is a dub. Dub is a dub. Rough, rough. But listen, man, if I just narrow it down, if you want to get good at Siege, just accept the fact that you're going to die to a lot of shit that you've never known. You're like, oh, wait, that's a thing. Oh, I'm going to learn for next time. And if I had to top it off of everything that we just explained, that's just the tip of the iceberg. If you if you thought I explained a lot in this game, bro, just wait until you play the game even more. There's so much more to learn about it, but I think that's what makes Siege one of the best games in the market. Besides the fact that the servers and cheaters run the game right now and Ubisoft doesn't give a flying fuck. Still, this game has an extreme good learning curve. The learning curve is like... It's up there, man. But it kind of it kind of slows down once you kind of get to like above average. Then it just comes down to just teamwork at that point. But when you're first learning the game, learning all the operators maps, it's going to be hard at first, but eventually it'll be better. So and if I top it off one more time, just have a good mental guys. Just have fun playing Siege. Don't take it too seriously. Don't compare yourself to how other people are playing and be like, wow, this guy's amazing. Because 30% of the time, they're probably cheating. And they might get banned very, very soon. But, you know, it just takes time practice. Just know, everything that you go through as a Siege player, everybody goes through it at least one time in their career. Learning stuff, having bad games. It's all okay, so... Have fun with it. Keep a good mental. Listen, if you're playing bad, bro, just take a break. It's just a video game. So, that's how I would get better at Siege. Okay, well, let's just hold angles, I guess. How to hold angles. What the way for defense? Let me see if I can bait the Jaeger to come kill my teammate. What? We're just gonna reset. Killed one person. Just reset it. You know what? Let's just go through study. Actually, I want to go through study. I'm going to study. Study is a really good piece of map control here. Let's go to the window first. Sick. Everyone's just dead, bro. Top main. Oh my god, they didn't read. You serious? You serious, bro? Okay. 
He's mate. He's classical, classical, classical. Go in. Oh my God, Jesus! Yeah. Sheesh. <laughs> Alright, so you guys saw a little bit of angle holding that round. Well, the first angle I was holding, I, I guess, like, in, in general, you should. Hmm. Well, the thing about angles is that they're just like, they're so, like, situational, and there's a lot of different ones. I guess mostly about holding angles is like wide swinging versus like whole playing passive. Like when should you wide swing? When should you play passive? So, and there's a, there's like a more aggressive angles. So, I would say you should only wide swing if you're combining it with a flashbang, or if you know someone's like close left or right of your doorway, or maybe even if you just if you're hitting if you combine it with the pre fire. If you combine it with the pre-fire, it's really good. Uh, so for example, like that thorn, right? Like, I just held like an angle to, get, you know, just in case she re she re peaked me, and then I only combined it with the flashbang though. Uh, same thing with like when I was baiting the person up here. I didn't want to peek. I didn't want to go all the way up because then I'll be exposed to my left and right. I just wanted to try to bait and keep them in front of me. Uh, that was soulless crap. Insertion I'm gonna go to go below. I'm gonna go Twitch, actually. They bring a lot of traps. Five seconds to go. How to bum rush site with no drones. A bomb. I get, you guys want me to ru uh, rush more? I can rush more. Hey, take case, take case. You have I don't wanna... Hold on to it. Also, guys, always shoot the study cam if you spawn over here. It's really underrated, but people don't do it a lot. All right, like we're just not gonna drone the entire game then. So Solus is up top. The only information I'm getting is from sound and from teammates or gunshots. No, he's close. Yeah, the beeper, the beeper just, that was a good beeper by him. So yeah, though, that's an example of like what, what, what can happen if you rush with no drone is, uh, you just get too aggressive right there. Not sure. Oh, good. We already got one round. Like guys, uh, uh another thing is like, don't be scared to, uh, 0.5 KD over 53 games. Damn, that guy's struggling. Anyways, I, I, I sorry I got thrown off topic. All right, it's how to bum rush, right? Okay, so if you want to rush really well, don't watch me because I'm like kind of the opposite of rushing. But if you want to watch someone really good at rushing, watch Uzi. Uzi, or maybe just any kind of like high elo that post on YouTube, like really good fragger. Uh, Bolo doesn't rush as much as I think he does. I think he plays so pretty smart, but why like, watch ooze, bro. Ooze, Spoit. Um, there's another good, like some underrated people. I'll even say is like fish, Benjamin master. Uh, watch those guys, guys. Like he's Benjamin masters on, on Benjamin masters on G2. And fish is on OXG. Watch, watch them, and watch how they play, and literally copy exactly where they go in, where their pre-placed drone is. Like, don't try to reinvent the wheel, guys. If you want to get better, better at rushing. Watch how good players do it. Let's copy it. Toss, thank you for the eight months. Welcome back. So it sounds like zeros across the building. 
So the only joining I'm going to do here is I'm going to just put a pre-place down. Maybe put like one more drone. The thing about rushing is that rushing doesn't have to always be like brain bad. Reloading. You can still be smart with it. I'm just gonna roughly okay, so that's my next card my first target. I'm not gonna shoot the default cam because I wanna have good sound. Dude, are you freaking joking me? Bro, these guys are just everywhere, man. Okay, this is kinda chalk, bro. This round's kind of chalked, I'm not going to lie. Bomb has been located. We're good. Argus in place. Ah, uh, okay. Well, wait, why did she just push the door? I just flashed. Oh my god, the f wait. Oh, it bounced late. So she just. That was bad timing. She walked into the spot I just flashed. Oh. Alright, well, yeah, I mean, the rushing is uh, not working out the best right now. I don't know, they're just all just like positioned so perfectly right now against me. Guys, don't put this site on. Don't put this site on. Oh! <gasps> Yo, this Ash needs to retire, bro. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, it's all good. Happens. All right. Angle holding is a lot better on defense because defense, you already have, like, you're making them come to you. Okay, we got a one-two split. Defense is a lot better for angle holding. So we have Mira. We have everything, bro. Maestro and Echo are the first people we pick? Bruh. Warden. Yo, can we get some wall denial? Or maybe I won't lie. I want to fix up the setup a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go Azami. I try... Actually, yeah. I'm going to go Azami. Um... What's wrong with that site? Did you not see that aim? Actually, NJR uses it on DZ, and he's crazy with it, so I can't, I can't shit on him. But I think you just saw exactly what happened there. Can you make some holes here, Mushroom? Am I speaking foreign to you? Do I need to speak in fucking Italian? Okay, at least Aruni kind of knows what she's doing. I'm using the deagle to make some lines of sight. Hey, Masha, can you use your shotgun pistol right here, please? He's uh, not fucking B, bro. That's good. Hey, Aruni, can you punch this for me, please? Hey, Aruni, can you punch that for me? Oh my god, we don't put a shield like don't put a shield like that guys. If you put a shield like that, it can be used against you. Okay. Let's get over here. First off, let's just do this. Let's run. Put that there. Good. The only thing no one's holding main. Oh, you gotta be joking me, bro. Freaking Monty. Well, I can't impact him yet. I don't want to hold study with a zombie because this Monty will just give me constant information. Fuck 
you. We can reset this. Watch this. Line up with the desk. Oh my god! What? Oh my god, you got me joking me! Oh my god, what? I hate this. I hate this so much, bro. I hate this so much, man. Oh my god. Alright, 3v2. Y'all got this. Oh my god. This game. Op for last stop standing. He sounds below bottom in. Bro, fuck this game, man. Why do I play this game? Good aim. Good aim. Echo, please. She's not even looking at you, bro. He's planting. Okay, you want to know the best angle holding is on this bomb site. Trophy is all angles. Okay, there's so many operas. I want, to, I want to go Valkyrie. Actually, the one time I would show you guys angles, I want to go Valkyrie. Valkyrie C4 is so good on here. But, oh, Mira is also really good. Oh my god, just for the sake of the commentary, I won't go Valk. Fine. Fine. Just for the sake of commentary. However, mm, you know what? Secure the bombs. I have an idea. I have an idea. All right, so the biggest thing to have better angles is to make your own angles, obviously. That's why site setups exist. So the angles we're making right now allows us to hold multiple rooms safely without being too exposed. Another thing about uh, the site setup is that you can reinforce walls. That way you can play certain positions to unlock different angles. I know it sounds very basic, but it's that's literally like a big key. You'll realize a lot of players don't know what they're doing because they just don't know the angles they're holding. I'm putting this C4 right here. Because that's the blind spot. You'll see why in a little bit. It might be a little off-centered. Also, chat, why do we shoot glass in the windows like that? Guys, come on. You're ruining the commentary, man. Oh, my God. Stop it. Stop killing everybody. We're winning too fast. Oh, done. Alright, well basically, you guys need to learn how to hold angles. But let's say like... Okay, let's say like I'm trying to hold someone walking in. Hmm. Let's say like this, right? Like instead of holding an angle like this, I would want to tighten it up. Why? Because if he hops in, I'm a big open angle. My hitbox is bigger. But if I hold an angle like this, I expose myself a lot less. Oh, watch this. Zero's going to hop in, by the way. And this is why I have the pre-place C4. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. One no! I'm gonna team kill you, bro. I'm out. Gotta <sighs> okay, well, this round ends and I'll show you. What the fuck is this?
I don't want to do this commentary anymore. I'm the one that needs the commentating. Like, what am I playing? Is is Ram, Did Ram think she's on defense or something, bro? Like, does someone need to wake her up? Bro, tell her that she's not defending, bro. Oh, my goodness. Jeez Louise. Nah, I win. Okay, another angle holding. Uh, dude. Solace. Secure the bombs. Well. Be advised, a bomb location is compromised. Okay, well, another thing about holding angles, guys, you'll you'll see like sometimes we make foot holes like this versus head holds the reason being is because it's a one-way angle so you see i can't really see anything here right i walk in i can't see anything but if i'm on the other side and i hold it like this bro that's free toes for me but yeah you want to make more holes like that i'll see more toes than a discord mod when he buys only things Let's go ahead and hold some tight ends. Another thing that helps me with, with angle holding is, with like wide swinging is pre pacing my crosser before I swing something. So instead of going like this all the time, I would just look at study door like that. Pre aim. Oh, free phone. Watch this. Okay. All right. Well, this is good angle holding right here. Because I got a free kill like that. Look at that free kill. Well, I didn't even take any damage from that. Oh, he's repelling up. He thinks he's slick. Listen, I'm going to hold a nice little angle here. Oh. One, two, three. Oh, you guys are so boring, bro. Oh my god. Box head in red. Okay, another good line of sight is this. Look at this. Now, I have a great line of sight. So my buck walks in red. I'm low exposure. I see as a one-way angle. Okay, this bug makes up his mind, bro. He's literally making a rotate everywhere, bro. You know, I don't think he's coming through anymore. I think he's coming through. Laundry. No drone. They're so boring, man. Do something! Oh, Buck's making a whole rotate in a red. Standing. I want to top this guy. Just hit fire him. I'm gonna hit fire him. All right, that's probably one of the like the worst like quality of gameplay I've gotten.